Alright, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. So, I lied about grinding. I didn't end up doing that. But we're just going to keep going on. So, hopefully we'll get to Juno, Junon in this episode. Uh, but we'll just have to see how far along we get. Right now we have to head in the uh, southeast direction. And I don't have to carry on. Perfect. Or not the greatest. I think from these guys you can actually get micro-missiles with your enemy skill materia. But I don't know if we have it equipped on these other people or not. So, let's just murder them. So you'll remember from the last episode, we got a uh, history update between Cloud, Tifa, and Sephiroth. And we know their history with each other. Doesn't really seem like a good one. Some things happen, some things are forgotten. And now we're trying to track him down. We heard he was going this way, so we're making our way over here. So we have to visit that farm and get a special piece. I hate these things. And by special piece, I mean special material. Two special material, in fact. Slow names. So, if you notice, Cloud's idle cycle is a lot slower than it used to be. Oh, good. Magic six. Can confirm. There we go. Luckily Tiffo wasn't slowed down at all. Yeah, I have enough material. Now these are called chocobos. Wrong one. And that was the Chocobo Dance. So this is our first summon material. Which we'll have to probably change one of these sets. Basically a really strong summon. <laughs> it's a strong material that summons a creature. I'll show you that in a sec. 30 feet tall snake creature. Give me one.
you have to buy the lure. I mean, you could always risk running across the marsh, but it's probably not the best idea. There's the lure. Okay, well, we have to buy some of this first. Do you have lure? Where is it? Or do I already have it? Oh, I did. Okay. Um, for now we're gonna get rid of en enemy skill. We'll put it back on after. But now we gotta go back outside. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just make a quick save right now, just in case this all goes wrong. And I'm gonna show you what the Midgar Zone is. A super intimidating creature that chances are you probably can't defeat. So, where is it? There it is. See that shadow? As soon as you start stepping on it, it's like, oh, I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. Step off the other go. I'm back here. As soon as this shadow touches you, it's a giant snake monster. And that thing murders you, so run. Just gotta get out of here before it murders anybody. He's trying to murder Cloud. And Cloud's dead. Good job. Alright. Let's, uh, bring him back. And let's go catch the Chocobo. Now make sure that... Where is it? Close to my eyes. Move this. You want the greens to be near the top, just so you can get to them faster. So we gotta find those chicken footprints. Footprints. Also feet prints, I guess. And you just gotta go back and forth. You have to have the chocolate lure on, and then you just have to hope for the best. Just be wandering around until we oh. Nope, no chocobo. You'll be able to tell when you get one. That's a lot of things though. I think Tiff is affected with sadness now. Bam. I'll show you the summon while we're here. Chocoma. Now this one specifically, you can trigger two different hey, trophy. You can trigger two different events. It's this one called Death Blow. And then there's a second one called Fat Chocobo, I think. And that's just when a giant huge chocobo just lands on all the enemies and does a bunch of damage. I don't know which one does more damage. But the fat chocobo is rare, so I assume it is. Special Chocobo music. Son of a bitch. Should just made Tiffa do it. Oh, this takes so long. Oh, 
Try for that again. There we go. Let's hope this one goes better. Oh my god, of course it's this one. Nope. Now that we gave him the green, he's gonna be distracted for a little while. Oh no, he's gonna make a slow dance, isn't he? I'm just gonna have Cloud keep throwing things. Make the other two attack. It's gonna take so long. But I can't speed this one up because I want it to fuck up. It's one down. Cross this without touching the shadow. Oh, there we go. Bye, Chocobo. Now we'll save. Because I do not want to go through that again. And that would be a dead Midgar's own. Just have to leave the screen and then go back in. Now we're in a cave. So that Midgar's Alm shows up in other Final Fantasies. And when I saw it in 15, I was almost positive that 15 and 7 were connected. Because at the beginning of 15, you see, like, diamond weapons show up. And it really tries to trick you. Speed up these random battles. Heal us up. I'll take it. <laughs> I guess I can put a enemy skill back on. Long range, perfect. So it's a long range material. I'm gonna put it on the cloud. We'll give Eris the long range material. Or, actually, do this. Take off enemy skill. Give you enemy skill. Give you long range. Long range material lets you deal front row damage from the back row. 
So essentially, you'll be receiving less physical damage while still able to deal out the same physical damage. So you just not get hurt as much. That's good. Cold Hey, but then I found Thrower. I feel like we should heal. Let's uh, cure us up a little bit. Yay! I'm gonna get rid of Sadness on Cloud. Just so we can start dealing out a little bit more damage. Because it looks like these enemies really like to hit him. Mind Source is an item that. Increases your permanent MP, I think? Or your magic, at least? What the hell are these things? Dead soon. Ah, uh, I don't think you Oh, well. Yay! Remember these guys, right? She's new. You don't remember him as the guy that slapped Eris. Cross 
All right, and that's it for this cave. Okay. Now this tower is a completely optional section. So I'm going to save. And let's see if we can get in here. We won't be doing much in here, but it's always nice to have a place in the Take a little nap now. Let's take a look at our party. Alright, everyone's about the same. We're good. So we'll go do this first mini game. I'm pretty sure this one costs money out of your own pocket. You guys got it. I'm not, I'm really not a fan of that mini game. It's essentially a rock, paper, scissors game. Uh, might as well show it once to you guys, since we're doing a somewhat thorough game. Oh, is that it? Oh. Never mind. I guess I screwed that one up, Rock. Damn it. We can always come back here later and do another one. Pretty much the story, you can't go through there. That's where you fight at the end. But, uh, pretty much the story for this one is you want to keep the people of the tower fighting, and every battle costs about 3,000. So you want to come back here. Donate money, make sure they can actually stay and fight. And I think you get extra materia near the end if you keep this place up. Or it makes the final battle easier, I don't quite remember. 
It's been a while. Yeah, I was never a fan of this place. But for now, we're going to do a little bit of a grind and see if we can get a surprise. So let's we'll save here. And this may seem like a grind, but in actuality, I'm trying to get us a secret. Let's hope it goes well. 13. Of course it was number 13. Okay. So, this is a secret. So essentially any forest area, if you grind it around long enough, this person shows up. And you have to make sure you kill them, because if you don't, it's game over, and you lose, so... <sighs> but, uh, we'll just focus on murdering this individual for now. Going all out, because we can. Up. It's not a hard fight, but it's a secret fight. Yeah, we did it. Whew, that took long enough. Alright. See, now that save point's there to distract you. What you want to do is talk to this person. Now you have to answer these questions in this way or else she'll run away. And this is our newest party member, Yuffie. Now, if you don't answer that correctly, pretty much what she'll do is she'll steal your materia and run away. And then you have to find her again. So basically any point after, I think this is like the first forest you can actually go into, you pretty much have to do a lot of random encounters. I'm pretty sure I did 13, and I edited them all out for convenience sake. But now she's on her team, and we're good to go. I don't think she has any material on her. Oh, she has one throw. Let's put that over here. Alright. So, we can do our way to Juno. Which happens to have. I should probably save. Which happens to have a giant cannon on the front. But, of course, gotta do more random battles. That was that thing. Murder it. It's like a cactus bat. Now I think we have to go down here. Oh no. There's another mini game I really hate coming up. Priscilla. Hey, yeah, you say it. It's a dolphin. You have to fight the dolphin guys. Oh, no. 
right. He probably should have healed up first. So the good thing about this one is this is another enemy you have to have long range to fight. But because we have Cloud and Tifa with his long range material, we should be good. Eris will keep everyone healed up. And everyone else can just start dissing out damage. Dishing out damage. They can diss it out too, I guess. We we'll make an insult track toward this fish thing. Undead fish. And here's our something. Now this bubble you have to attack. It's like uh I think. Nope, that just deals damage over time, never mind. Oh no you can't attack it. I was wrong. I just bash cloud in the head. Um, you have to attack that, and then it'll disappear. Should have disappeared. What do you have to do to it? Magic. Okay, there we go. So, do I want to let me select? She's got the bubble. MP so I'm probably just gonna have her defend until she needs to heal. So you notice that bubble does damage over time, so it'll always like it's like the opposite of regen. Sim doesn't do much damage. Mind blow, which I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, it deals MP damage instead of uh, HP damage.
Now, I'm not sure if this is like a total thing, or if you have to get in like a very special spot for it to work. see every game, and then we'll make sure Priscilla's all right in the next episode. So we rode a chocobo, saw them in Garzone, got a new party member, went to that tower that I forget the name of, and we saved a little girl from a weird freaky fish zombie. Alright, that was pretty productive. Well, uh, see you in the next episode. Bye!